Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Research Campus. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I write lesson notes as a teacher. So one of the requirements as a teacher is to be able to write lesson notes. And in my school, we write lesson notes weekly. And after I've written down the lesson notes, we go at, we pass the lesson notes, we give it to the head teacher who goes through it and then marks the lesson notes. And then um, you can see this is a small book that we have for every teacher has this book. So this is where he writes the review. After going through all our um, the lesson and then he writes his own review and um, the corrections and then so this is it so as you can see every time as the months pass so this is a long writing as a month there's a lot of corrections that um, he wrote here that I had to I had to make so you can see as the months pass it reduces as you can see and now this is just it much improvement on your lesson keep up so that is how it um, that is how the routine works now this is how the book is looking like you can see it's very very thick and I've written down I've written it and you can see there's still space to do uh, for more lessons so every teacher has this book so there are some schools that have um, that use leisure to make their own lesson note but my school have made it so easy for teachers to uh, write lesson notes by handing us this book so let me just open the book so you see so when you open the book this is how it's looking like you have the weekly integrated lesson plan for week ending Friday dates so this is where you write the weekly integrated le le weekly lesson plan and then they also give you an extra space where you can continue and then you go now to the individual lesson plan and this is where you write the individual lesson plan it goes right up to friday so you have for five days before you open up to the weekly another weekly integrated lesson plan so let's see how I write my oh I write my own lesson notes. Okay, so this is um, the weekly integrated lesson plan for the month of September, and here we have we have all the to uh, the, the subject that we're going to be teaching. We have um, mathematics, reading, writing, sign language, sensory and PE, ICT, citizenship, um, environmental education. And then it goes again, character education, safety education, science and technology, health education, agriculture, PAS, which is sports. So those are all the subjects that we teach um, in nursery school, in my school. I don't know about the other schools, but that is what we teach. And then let's go to the individual lesson site. So this is the individual lesson plan section. You can see. Um, so we have it for we have after the uh, weekly integrated lesson plan we go now to the individual so this is for the first subject and then second which is um, Tuesday third fourth and then fifth and then you go now to integrated lesson plan okay so let's start so um so the first one is a weekly integrated lesson plan and you can see this is a preamble um it's like the heading and then you have it's divided into sections where we can write the subjects the topic um learning or teachable units then the learning outcome and then we have didactic material or the resources that we're using to teach the particular subject so let's start with the preamble so a weekly integrated lesson plan for week ending so friday 28th october this so for example let's say we're writing it on i'm writing on sunday so i have to calculate the date of friday the following friday and i put it here 
So that is the date. And then we're going to also school, name of your school, the level that you teach, nursery. So the primary and the nursery all have the same book. So it's basically the same format. So we have level, nursery, class, and then we have enrollment, the number of kids in class. So I teach 39 kids as of now. So average age you have for nursery one is three years. And then the theme of that month is the body. So we write our lesson plan following a particular theme. So that is what we do. So there's a theme that is given every month and we follow that theme in order to write the lesson. So that's what the curriculum states. And then now we have where we write all the subjects and then when you write the subject the units which is like the topic this is a topic and then teachable units which is like the subtopic we have sets and then subtopic identifying and counting objects shapes and shapes inserts the learning outcome is what you um what you expect um after what you expect from the kids after they have uh, studied this particular topic so by the end of the week kids should able to identify and count objects and shapes in sets so that's the outcome that you want after they have studied how to identify and count objects in shapes in um, shapes in sets and what source what resources are we going to be using to, to teach the kids chalkboard okay so i'm going to be using the blackboard to teach the kids sets so you can use flashcard depending on what resources are your um teachable materials are you going to be using then it's all good so but us i usually use just chalkboard and and flashcard as well so i can also write flashcards here so it's the same for all the other subjects as you can see and one thing i also want to say is um we have the weekly integrated lesson plan the only thing that changes here is um, mathematics reading and writing so um this is a weekly integrated lesson plan so as we go let's say the first week the next week we also write the next the other week we also have we also have to write a lesson notes but these other subjects don't actually change but this one mathematics reading and writing changes a lot so they are the ones that changes a lot so that is how we write the weekly integrated lesson plan for the subject so all the subjects we have to write for all the subjects as you can see so let's go ahead for the individual lesson plan okay so this is a individual lesson plan it starts here so um we have to choose five subjects to write individual lesson notes on or lesson plan on because they give us five different space you'll not be able to write all the individual lesson plan for all the subjects so i choose five subjects each teacher chooses five subjects and they write individual lesson plan on those subjects so they are pretty much the same they have the same format so once you know how to write one you can easily write the other ones so you can see monday monday and then we have for tuesday the subject changes um this one was writing this one was mathematics this one is mathematics tuesday and then wednesday is reading uh tells the ict and then friday century and pe before when you turn again you go now to another week weekly integrated lesson plan so that is it so let's see how to write our weekly integrated lesson plan so let's look at the preamble first we have the preamble the first one is individual lesson plan on the subject which is this is where we write the subject and then the dates that you're going to be teaching um the date which is tuesday 25th october that now it doesn't mean that you're going to be teaching mathematics only on tuesday so we teach for the entire every day we teach till friday but when you're writing your lesson notes you write um you just choose a day to write for that subject right i don't know if that makes sense but so i decided to write it on for this day so you can you can choose any day to write okay so here's the preamble we're going out to the topic on the mathematics so it follows what we are seeing here for the um weekly integrated lesson our topic was sets and then you can see the lesson now is identifying and counting objects and shapes in sets so that's a subtopic and then integrated learning team the team of that month is the body so we follow a particular team every time every month they give us a particular team each month so next is the national core skills to be developed. So what type of skill do you think the kids can develop after they have learned this particular lesson? 
so that's what you're going to write here and i wrote lifelong learning because the um, counting is a lifelong learning skill so once even when they grow they will they'll, they'll need to count whether it's counting money counting numbers counting um houses counting like even when they are playing so it's a lifelong learning skill and then go now to the domain the domain um it falls under science and technology and then we have envisage projects the envisage project which is this one the envisage project is um you a teacher uh, each teacher has to come out with a particular project for that month so when they give you a team you think of a project that if practical lesson you think of a practical lesson that um you can do or come out with uh, with the kids so what practical lesson do you think you can teach the kids um for the uh, when you're teaching them based on the team or the team of month so since the team of month is the body you can either do uh, just like i did i say care how to care for the body right so care of the body that's my own project how to care for the body you can also do maybe um how to iron ironing clothes so any practical lesson so let me just show you another an example of another envisaged project of another team so you see what i'm talking about so this was for a lesson note for november and the theme of month was the family and the home so that the theme of month as you can see and then here is the envisaged project that i i i came about i i, I did was molding a family out of mold that's a project so it has to be like a full physical project right so you think of a project that ties with the team the family and the home so building it can be molding a doll out of mold just making a family anything maybe you can be making a any kitchen utensils out of mold like any pro, uh, physical any project that you can think practical project that you can think of that the kids can do but it has to tie with the team of that month okay so let's go back so after um the envisaged projects we have expected outcome so what do you expect the kids um to um what do you expect out of the kids after they have learned this lesson so after presenting observing and explaining at the end of the lesson the kids should be able to identify and count objects and shapes in sets so that is what you expect the kids to do after learning how to identify and count objects and, uh, and shapes in a set so after you have presented the subjects and then you have um the kids have observed and then and then you have done maybe uh, explain more on it so at the end of the lesson the kids should be able so they should be able to identify and count objects and shapes in sets so next is this previous knowledge so this is the knowledge that they had before this lesson before you came up with this lesson so the previous knowledge was kids can count from one to ten okay so now we are going now to counting in a set and then now the reference is we're referencing to a new curriculum because the curriculum changes all the time so we just wrote new curriculum so there might be so um i reference to the curriculum that's why the curriculum that we have uh, that's how i came about with this lesson note and then next is the where you write the school this is where you write your school name the class enrollment number of kids in your class and then the average age of the kid and then the time that will take you to teach that subject so that is it so that is a preamble right and then we go now to the different sections so to, the lesson notes is divided into three sections we have the introduction stage the presentation stage and then the evaluation stage so those are the three stages in a lesson notes so let's start with the um the stage remember the purpose of the individual lesson when you're writing your individual lesson note is you should write in such a way that when another teacher takes um takes this your lesson book they'll be able to teach the, your class with ease okay so that um everybody like the head teacher will know exactly what you're teaching the kids so um in case maybe you are not available another teacher can come in then take your lesson note and be able to teach 
uh, to teach with ease so that's what we are doing here so let's take a look at the introduction the first introduction when you're teaching um, nursery school of course is to start singing so that is the content matter i start with a song head shoulder knees and toes knees and toes and then go to the next song my head my head oh, oh show me your head so it has to tie to with the theme of the month the theme of the month is the body so we try to look for songs that will be able so that the kids can be able to identify the different parts of their body and then let after that we do a, a bit of revision of our previous knowledge which is kids can come from one to ten so i give them a small exercise so this is the content matter so let's just look at it again so the first one is the song so here is the facilitating activities that is a facilitating activity um so these are the sections we have stages content matter facilitating activities learners activities and the resources that we're going to be using facilitating activities is basically teachers activities what the teacher is doing so let's look at it so the content matter is song singing and then the teacher is in tuning the song for kids to sing so the teacher in tune song for the kids to sing that's what the teacher is doing right and then what are the teach what are the uh, kids doing that's the learners activities the kids are singing the kids sing and then what is the resources what is the, the material that the kids is, the teacher is using of course the voice to sing right so that is it and then now i do a little bit of revision and then here are the activities that I'm doing. Um, my the teacher's activities they ask kids to count the uh, count and circle the correct answer. Mm -hmm. Or you can say revise with kids on previous knowledge by asking them to count and circle the correct answer. So since they can they can be able to identify or oh, they can be able to identify numbers from one to ten. Mm -hmm. So then what are the what would the kids be doing then? The kids will do as instructed by the, the teachers so they will when you give them the evaluation you evaluate them on the previous knowledge they will do as instructed so what material are you going to be using a chalkboard okay we can be an exercise book anyone so but us i use chalkboard that they are nearly school kids so next we go now to the presentation this is where we introduce now our topic proper we start presentation in nursery school by drawing the objects right we draw so the kids learn by what they see so i draw objects as you can see and then this is what we do facilitating activities what are the what is the teacher doing when you draw this object so the teacher is presenting flash cards mm, uh, of the object of objects in a set the teacher is presenting flash cards of objects in a set so so what are the teacher, the kids doing so i made a mistake here so the kids observe keenly the kid is observing keenly so that's what i'm supposed to write here so the kids observe keenly so this is a mistake i've just corrected it so when you present flashcards what happened the kids are looking at it they're observing what is on the flashcards right so the material that i'm using is flashcard and chalkboard so i draw on i either use flashcard or i draw and i also draw on the chalkboard now see on the presentation the first question you ask is what can you see after drawing how many cards do you see like ask questions when you have presented your flashcard ask questions so what is the teacher doing asking guided questions and then um and then now this is where you teach the sub after you've asked them they have answered right so answer oh some will say i saw a car i saw banana i see banana i see pencil okay so that's how it interacts with the kids so the next one is um it teaches the kids what a set is right teach the kids this the topic now a group of similar objects in a circle is called a set okay so you teach them then after you've teach them um count the objects in each set and tell me the correct number so this is where you give them you ask them questions after teaching them or after teaching them to solve the the topic or after introducing it then you ask them questions individually and then the kids will answer so you're also using flashcards so there's no need to write in flashcards here and then we're going on to the last stage of our lesson notice is the evaluation stage excuse me. 
so this is where you evaluate them on everything that we have done so i just draw a set and then i put numbers for them to be able to count and then identify the number identify um, the number so just count so that's all about the evaluation and then this is what um, the teacher's activity or facilitating facilitating activity they ask kids to count objects in each set and circle the correct number so that's what the teacher wants yeah then the kids do as instructed that's the kids or learners activities so what resources are you using i'm using a chalkboard or an exercise book to ask to evaluate them so you can use exercise book you can do it as a homework and give them to go to the house and do or you can and you can also do it in class on the board draw and then you ask each kid to identify so that is how we write lesson notes okay guys so that is it so it's the same format for the other subjects as you can see the introduction then you tune song for kids to sing the teacher in tune song for kids to sing the learner activities and then um you do revision for the previous knowledge so this one is for reading okay so it's pretty much the same format so that is it so let's look for the other one so this one is for ict introduction previous knowledge where i did kids the previous knowledge was kids can identify the different parts of the computer so you see that i drew a computer and i asked them to um i revised with them by asking the kids to um, identify each part of the computer that we have studied okay so that is it so revise previous knowledge by pointing each part of the computer and ask kids to name the parts and then there's an introduction for the other subjects uh, which is was uh, um, the topic was identifying lesson identifying types of computer so these are the different types of computer so this is it you draw it and then you present flashcards and then ask them what can you see always ask them that question then ask them just ask them different different questions before you introduce a topic proper so there are different types of computers which are it's our computer desktop and then so that is it and then we have now our evaluation stage so guys that is how we write lesson notes um oh that is how i write lesson notes so there's no really uh a one size fits all method of writing lesson notes i don't know if each schools have their own different method but it's basically the same thing uh, we follow a the theme of month and we follow um we just follow the curriculum and that is how we write lesson notes in my school so guys i hope this video was helpful to you teachers in particular or oh, if you like this video please do not forget to hit the red subscribe button down below and also tap on the notification bell so that youtube can notify you whenever i upload any more videos thank you so much for watching and if you have any question please leave it in the comment section i will gladly reply thanks once more for watching and see you guys in the next video bye